So I'm going to show you how to make a wireframe uh, for a user interface or pretty much anything. And then I'm also going to show you how to make a prototype uh, for usually for software development, but doesn't have to be for software development. You can make user interfaces and uh, wireframes and prototypes about just about anything. So a quick trick, if you type in presentation.new into your browser, it'll pop a new Google presentation. And this is a very, very powerful application. I'm just gonna do an example wireframe. And this, let's go ahead and make, a, we'll make a login uh, page for a phone app. And first I'm gonna do my page setup and I'm gonna do custom and make it three by four. Uh, let's do, try three by five. And eh, that's a little bit fat. Uh, let's try uh, sorry, let's try three by five, not four by five. There, that looks more like an app. And now to create a rectangle, a lot of wireframes is just rectangles, uh, lots of them. So we'll just do a, a username. And, or we could just call it username. And then and yeah, that looks okay. I could just leave it gray like that. And then I can hit control D or that will duplicate, or I can hit control C and control V, which uh, copies and pastes. And I can do password. And the last most, the most important part of a login screen is, um, oh, notice these red lines here. I'm, that's trying to center it. It's trying to vertically center these which is nice, makes it look a little cleaner. Uh, sorry, the last component I want for my login screen is a button that says login. And, and it's still aligned to the left. Let's go ahead and make that center aligned. And boom, there's my wireframe. <laughs> Pretty easy. And all I'm trying to do is convey a thought. I'm just trying to tell someone, hey, I had an idea, here's my idea. I could try to describe this, but that usually takes a very, very long time. And the risk of the person misinterpreting me is pretty high. So it's usually a lot faster just to toss it in a wireframe. Um, this login page is a little bit lame. I'm just gonna add my app. That's not a lot better, but, uh, but at least you know what you're looking at now. <laughs> and uh, you can make your font bigger like this. By the way, if you press control shift period or control shift uh, comma it will do this there all right and there's your wireframe done and um, now to make this even cooler we could make a prototype to turn this into a prototype a prototype let me let me step back a prototype is an interactive set of mock-ups you know this is a type of mock-up a wireframe is a mock-up that's just mocking up an idea. Uh, there's also a high fidelity mock-up, which means it looks exactly the way we want it done in production. We, uh, we won't bother with that today, but, uh, but we will bother with a prototype. We want to make this interactive. So what would happen when they log in? Uh, they'd probably go to a home page. So I'm just going to click this over here and hit control D to duplicate. And then I'm going to say my app homepage <laughs> and I don't need this. Um, well, I, I guess I could keep one of them, but I could just, I could just make it like this and I could say, or picture. <laughs> there, there's my beautiful, beautiful, uh, homepage mock-up. That's my wireframe of a homepage. And uh, now I have two wireframes. So to make this interactive, it's very, very, very easy. All I do is click this, uh, this button here and I make it a uh, link, right click it and link, or you can hit control K. And I wanna click slides in this presentation, next slide and apply and done. Now, if I were to present it, uh, I'm, I'm recording my screen, so I won't do it now. But if I were to present it and click on this, I could go to the next slide like this. And the user, you know, the, the, you could pretend to use the app and uh, without even a single line of code, 
you can make a prototype. And you could design tons of pages like this. You could design five, you could design 10, 20, and uh, you could make a, a really sophisticated prototype. Uh, I also like to download these as uh, PDFs and I could, you could email them. So if I open up my PDF like this, watch what happens when I click login here. Let me zoom in. You can even open this up on your phone and it'll look like your phone. <laughs> so if you click login, woo, it, it worked. It jumped to the login to the home page. Pretty, pretty darn powerful. Pretty, very, very powerful way of creating uh, wireframes, of presenting ideas, and creating something interactive.